So uh, today we're in the city of Brentford in Ontario and I'm doing an interview with a great bass player, long time player for Natalie McMaster and Donnell Leahy and um, all round great guy, great musician and I'm going to ask him a few questions. So, Shane Hendrickson, how, yes. are, you do- how are you doing sir? I'm doing okay. Um, did you have a good morning so far? Uh, I drove from Guelph to Brantford on secondary roads with the snow not plowed and uh and you drove well i was i was in the back thanks thanks to google it took us on all the back roads to get here my i have to report that he's a great driver my neck has been very bad in the last couple of days and i didn't experience any extra pain apart from one bump we went over on a back road tim this is not about you no it's not shane it's about you shane thank you so let's move let's move on so i want to ask you when did you start playing bass when did I start playing bass? Yeah. I started playing bass probably around age 14, 15. Okay. Rock? Was uh, rock? No, it was country. It was country. country. Although I did okay. play rock in my bedroom yeah. down in the basement and stuff. But basically I started bass because I was the first one to give in. Now, Nobody wanted to play bass, so I had to say, okay, I'll do it. And the thing with bass, because um, I mean, I'm a guitarist, so like I play a tiny bit of bass. I wouldn't play it in front of you because my bass playing is terrible. But but the thing is, um, you're, it, it's a really important thing, and you know, you're, you're, you're kind of, you're a backbone. I mean, you're, you're holding everything together. And, and uh, I mean, when you started, uh, did you start playing locally? Did you, when, when was your first gig? I mean, when, when, did, you, when did you go out uh, on the road? You were in Moose Jaw. Well, no, I was south of Moose Jaw. He's south of Moose Jaw. He's a, this man is a Saskatchewan. Hey, good one. Man, from, from, from near the city of Moose Jaw. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, there was no, not a lot of musicians. There were no musicians in my town, but in the next town over there were musicians. And when they got to a certain <coughs> age, they were bused to our school. And that's how we kind of got together and did our first gig from there. So you would have gigged locally. You built things up. When did you do your first big tour? And who was it with? Well, I did a lot of all weekends and stuff yeah. like that for quite a while. And then I got Great. together with a band called Churko, who... Okay was a family band and they were on the country scene and they were doing the country you know tours and stuff and uh, yeah. and hooked up with them and the way we went and we'd play six nights a week for almost every week of the year oh my god that's it, how you get good that is how you get good uh, in talking like in terms of basis uh, I I know a little bit about a little bit of research I know you're a Didario string player absolutely uh, they're great strings uh, yep. um, what bass do you play? I got a, a Sadowski bass, Roger Sadowski out of Brooklyn. Five string? Five string bass, yeah. Beautiful bass. Uh, works great for this gig as well as any other ones. And uh, radial guy too, radial engineering. Radio. The best uh, DIs out there, the yeah. best uh, preamps, all that stuff. A lot of the gigs that we've done on this tour and, and, and other gigs that I've done with, with you uh, in, this, in this lineup, People often comment about the sound of your bass, yeah. and I hear it on stage. And we'll be doing a sound check, and, and you hear someone say, "Oh, what are you? What are you talking about?" Now you're going through like a you, you're going for a big box. Yeah. Well, it looks like a big. It's like a rack. Yeah. Um, I want to get one, but I can't <laughs> lift it because my neck is. But that's another story. But anyway, what is in that rack? Is, is, <coughs> well, is, it's a Furman power conditioner start. Then it's electric. There are electrosonics uh, wireless, which are really okay. good wireless. Okay. They're really expensive, but they're really good. Uh, the next is uh, in the rack is the Firefly Radio Tube DI, okay. and then in the shelf underneath. But it warms it up. It kind of warms. Yeah, it. it's great. It it makes it so beefy and and fat and yeah. and heavy and cuts through. And then I've got a bass bone and a tuner on a slide out rack. Fantastic. And then uh, yeah, so it all goes through there. No amp on this tour. No amp on this tour. I'm the only electric guy. There's 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 one thing that I got to ask you as a as a bass player. Um, is it true? that bass players have quite a lot of bass in their monitors. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm asking very awkward questions. Of course. But it's, because well, you need to hear what you're doing. I mean, well, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. it would be, it would probably be way too much for most people, but yeah. for me, it's, uh, yeah. it's so I can hear everything. I, I, you know, I have, the nice thing about, I have in-ears for monitors, yes. and I can ster- split yeah. everything stereo-wise, so yeah. everything has a place. Bass is always straight yeah. up center, and then everything is panned. As a, as a talking from the perspective of, of a lot of bass players 
and a lot of guitar players wouldn't wouldn't have like normally played the type of music we're playing on this tour, which which is predominantly Celtic mm -hmm. fiddle music. Um, how did you find coming from the rock and country world to a Celtic gig? Because I mean, you wouldn't like say, for example, I mean, I wouldn't have grown up with the with, with the rock stuff. I, I listened to Diddley D, but you probably wouldn't have heard Diddley D. So when you when did you first play with Adam? Diddley D was one of my favourite songs. <laughs> But when, um, did you, when did you first start doing it? Because I know you played with Leahy. Yeah, I guess Leahy was the main yeah. thing. And I always thought Celtic music was kind of like country music. Yeah. And of course, uh, I was sadly mistaken when I uh, agreed to yeah. their tour and then they sent me the material and I was petrified that <laughs> I wouldn't be able to learn it because I only had like about a week yeah. and a half or a week and a bit to learn it. And I found out that Celtic bass was uh, very progressive and it it was a lot and you probably didn't have a reference to listen to either because there's no. not many bass no. players in our world i mean there's a, there's a couple but there's not many no. the, the, like like uh, there's a couple of double bass players uh, like a band called lunacer who mm -hmm. uh, they have you know trevor hutchinson great bass player but but uh, upright bass and similar to you he was from a rock rock right, rock, you know. right. but uh so when did you first do the gig with natalie when was the first oh gosh 2006 i think it was july in uh prospect park Brooklyn. Fantastic. And flew in and had very little reference material. And Did the guys in the band at all help you out in terms of... Never, that? no. They okay. wouldn't talk to me for about a month. <laughs> wouldn't even acknowledge This is not Natalie right. now, by the way. This is Oh, this Natalie. Is Natalie. She, yeah. She's, yeah. Yeah. she's terrible. terrible. But the guys in the band... The guys, I mean, yeah. There was threw things a, at me during the were, show. Would you say you were bullied? I mean, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Especially... Mac yeah. and Matt, they were the worst. Mm -hmm. but, but, move, but moving on now. Um, yeah, let's move on. I don't want so, to talk about them. Yeah, this is about you, Shane. It's about me. Um, so, 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 uh, um, so basically, um, you know, on, on this gig, uh, interestingly, because we, we, it's been more of an acoustic gig, uh, we, we're bass. Matt McIsaac is, has been playing some some, some snare, mm -hmm. and there's the, the the two boys have got a great setup with this porch board. Uh, yeah, it's thing. like a, a kick drum like a kick, in a yeah. box. Yeah, kick drum in a box. Uh, so, how have you found not having drums, and, 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 and has it been a big deal, or, or have you enjoyed? I mean, it's different, definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's nice having drums yeah. just to drive, but at the same time. It's kind of cool the way it's all set up now, and yeah, uh, it's a great having, sound. Yeah, and having Matt play all different instruments and stuff, it's pretty cool. And and yeah. it, and you know, it drives it. Yeah, and that's the main thing. You know, um, so between and and you know, all acoustic, you playing acoustic, yeah. Matt playing acoustic, it's yeah. all percussive. Do you have much of me in your monitor, Shane? Be honest, now, I mean, do, do you, uh, you? Gosh, it's getting late. Uh, Shane. Oh, what? Sorry, I, no, I, no, I, no. I forgot the question. Do you have much of the nylon? I have a lot of my uh, monitor in my ears. Like, okay, okay, yeah, okay. I have a lot of monitor. But do you have much of my guitar? Your guitar is such a nice guitar. You know, he's got a Yamaha guitar. Yes, and, yeah. and it's a nylon, and it sounds so Pretty great sweet, on its it? own. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So um, um, this isn't about me, but yeah. Okay. But, Next so, question. Okay. So any. Uh, <laughs> Oh, so uh, I have all guitar. I, I have you in my yeah, I do, you did. I just know this guy plays that I can't hear. I knew it. And I can't you know, hear, can't hear. Like some of the times I have not had bass and piano on two of the shows just because I was next to the really the, the, the PA. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Shane. It wasn't a deliberate thing. I'm really don't please don't take this personally because okay. I love bass. In fact, apparently I now listen. I do. I used to listen. Other people's bass. No, no, I love your bass, Shane, and you know I do, and you know my bass what is you taken. said yesterday. My bass is taken. I love your I love your bass playing, and I I think you've you've done a fantastic job because I mean like for somebody who's not who who didn't grow up with Diddley D like the the, the tunes the, the Cape Breton the Irish thing etc. You've done fantastic, and you're doing fantastic. Uh, I want to ask outside of this band what you're doing. I want to ask Aaron. <coughs> you play with Aaron Pritchett, a country, Pritchett, country yeah, 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 Pritchett. Yeah. Um, you also sing. I heard. I heard him singing yesterday. You have a great voice. In fact, you should. Yeah. You. You. Uh, do you want to give us a Christmas carol? No. Go on. No. Oh, go on. No. How about a sea shanty? Give us a sea shanty. Go on. Sing it. Sing us a little shanty. Yeah. I, I think I'll pass. Okay. Okay. But outside of this gig, what's the plans after this? I mean, uh, you, you know, Aaron. Well, I'll, I'll be. I'll be doing probably more gigs with them next year. We'll see. Yeah. Yes. And uh, Aaron Pritchett is coming off the back of uh, two uh, top ten singles, so 
Oh, his wow. year is going to be very busy. So he, he is busy, man. I mean, yeah. And that, that is your other main gig. And, and, yeah. Um, so now he's based in DC as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So Two top ten singles. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. He's got a great album out. And he's been around for quite a while, too. So it's amazing that he's has had the longevity and he's still relevant. I mean, he's still up there with everybody else. Yeah. Which is great. Real, real testament to his talent. In that gig, do you play the same bass or do you play different ones? You no, know, same rig, same so bass. Same, I use an amp yeah. on that one just for because for, yeah. it's a loud, loud uh, show. If you could take an amp on this gig, would you? And don't worry, I want to land the. You know, uh, yeah, I mean, but you would. I mean, it's a weird gig because I move around quite a bit, so yeah. you wouldn't get that feel of a. Of but you wouldn't feel amp. guilty about people having to carry that safe you know, at the end of the night because we we arrive at the venue. I just, you know, Shane. Uh, does his running and stuff, um, but we, you know, we arrive at the venue. And we we are lucky. We don't have to lift the stuff. I mean, sometimes I feel guilty about that. I don't know how you do. No. I do something. You don't. You never feel guilty. Have you ever felt guilty? You felt guilty. You can lift my. I yeah. Stuff. No, I'll do that tomorrow. Okay. I'll do That'll that tomorrow. Care, right? <laughs> really, I've really enjoyed um, in this the short video, like like talk hearing about your setup, hearing about how you get your sound, hearing about your playing and. And, and career so far, and doing stuff. Um, I know we're going to be well setting up fairly shortly. Yeah. Um, you're going to be plugging your Sadowski in, and giving her, giving her a low end, as they say. Um, and uh, so I mean, um, yeah. Thank you for t for talking. Well, thank about you it. for and interviewing me. This is nice. We, yeah, yeah. 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 And can we just clarify one thing to the viewers? I do have Shane in my monitor. I pr I will. I promise you. You know I do. You know, but I and you have me and yours. And, and Absolutely. You know, there isn't a problem. The two shows I didn't have him was not because I didn't like his playing. Anybody who's listening to this, it isn't. Monitors are a personal thing. Sometimes you know, I'm next to that amp and I just get a little. You know, but so the tickets are um, there you sixteen go. bucks. But th thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, Jeff. I appreciate it. And will we be doing any crueler, more crueler? Oh, this trip? I think so. I've At got least. Them, um, Couple more. So from the road, Shane Hendrickson, Natalie McMaster, band, Donnell Leahy, and Aaron Pritchett's bass player, great bass player. Oh my god! Are, are we recording? Uh, yeah. We're Kim was just sending you a message, Shane. That's alright. So we, we are recording. Okay. Yeah, now, shall I do an intro or should we just go through it? Uh, I'll do an intro, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, uh, well, today we're in the city of. Oh, come in! Did, did you pass away in Shane? Yeah, a little while ago. Oh my 